is Tuesday, September 11th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Sylvie Renan. President Donald Trump will mark 17 years since the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil by visiting the Shanksville, Pennsylvania field that became a September 11 memorial. A California-bound commercial airliner crashed in the field on September 11, 2001, after the 40 passengers and crew members learned of the attack and attempted to regain control of the aircraft. Everyone on board was killed. Nearly 3,000 people died on 9-11 when three other airplanes were flown into New York's World Trade Center and the Pentagon in an attack planned by Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. Nearly a decade later, bin Laden was killed during a U.S. military operation ordered by President Barack Obama. Mandatory evacuations were imposed for parts of three East Coast states Tuesday as millions of Americans prepared for the arrival of Hurricane Florence. The storm could become one of the most catastrophic hurricanes to hit the eastern seaboard in decades. Florence's top winds dipped to 130 miles per hour Tuesday morning, but the Category 4 storm is expected to approach the most damaging Category 5 status as it slows and strengthens over very warm ocean water off the coast of the Carolinas. Arizona's new Senator John Kyle says he'll, he'd vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act. That's one additional Republican ready to repeal after his predecessor, the late Senator John McCain, helped derail the party's drive with his fabled thumbs-down vote last year. However, after years of trying to repeal Obamacare, GOP leaders still lack the votes to succeed. The law's growing popularity and easing premium increases have left top Republicans showing no appetite to refight the repeal battle. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Sylvia Renan.